Today we are going to learn about the associative property in whole numbers. First of all, we will take addition. In addition of whole numbers, the sum does not change even if we change the grouping of the numbers. If we add more numbers, then if we group the numbers, then there will not be a difference in their sum. Let's take an example. 4 plus 5 plus 6. These are the two ways we can make the groups of these numbers. First of all, we will add 4 and 5, which will be equal to 9. And then we will add 6, which will be equal to 15. Now, if we change the groups, here I have made the group of 5 and 6. So, 4 plus the sum of 5 and 6 is 11. 4 plus 11 is also 15. So, we can see in both the cases, we have got the same result. Is it true for subtraction also? For example, let's take 15 minus 8 minus 5. Now we can make group like this. 15 minus 8 minus 5. Or 15 minus 8 then minus 5. 15 minus 8 minus 5 is 3. 15 minus 3 is equal to? 12. Now, if we change the group and we subtract 8 from 15, how much 15 minus 8? We will get 7 and 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. We can see result is not just the same. So that means if we change subtraction mein numbers ki grouping change karte hai, to result bhi change ho jata hai. Difference bhi change ho jata hai. So Associative property in whole numbers is true for addition, but it is not true for subtraction. Now, if we take 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6, then we can do this by making group of 4 and 5 and then multiply 6. Or other way is, first we multiply 5 and 6 and we multiply the product of 5 and 6 by 4. So, 4 multiplied by 5 is 20 and 20 multiplied by 6 is 120. Now, let's see here. 5 multiplied by 6 is 30 and 30 multiplied by 4 is again 120. In both the cases, we have got the same result. That means the associative property is true for multiplication also. In the multiplication of whole numbers, the grouping of the numbers does not affect the product. But is it true for division also? Let us see. Let's take 64 divided by 8 divided by 2. 64 divided by 8 is 8 and 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Now let's change the groups. First of all, we will divide 8 by 2. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16, which is not equal. That means associative property is not true for division. Division ke liye associative property true nahi hai. Numbers ka, numbers ki grouping agar hum change kar denge, to quotients bhi different honge. That means, Associative property is true for addition and multiplication, but it is not true for subtraction and division.